Just Getting Started was recorded and produced by myself through Soul Merge Productions and Narara on the Central Coast of South Wales, Australia. Just getting started was definitely a breath of fresh air back in 2013. I still listen back now and I'm still proud of all the songs on that record because at that time it was the first complete electronic album I did on my own and the possibilities were endless and the stars were the limit. The album was also known as the Acknowledgement Album. Purely because I think everyone was shocked when I first released it. I honestly think that everyone thought, since I left the church that I grew up attending, that my music would just stop. Ah, uh, no way honey, it will never stop. I started broadening my horizons and there I went. I'll never forget the first music video I made, Eternal Desire. It was and still is a big favourite to many. It seemed to grab a lot of people's attention, which is what I was aiming for. You have always been there in my life. You've been present every day and night. I don't know why I chose to do this, but I was in a very silly mood. But with the video, let it out. I was wearing all different kinds of wigs that my partner at the time had from his dancing costumes as he was a dancer. The song itself is very charismatic, fun and dancey. I look back and think, well, anything is bound to happen with this banger. But on the same token, it was the very first banger that I ever made, which I'm very proud of. This album, just like the others, has a very Euro pop sound to it, funky, disco, easy listening and a soul merging feel but with a very sharp electronic style and sound. A lot of people say I sound like the Pet Shop Boys, Marikai, Calvin Harris and a few others I can't really remember right now. Someone also told me that I play the piano like Elton John does. Get out. Now that is a compliment it within itself. I stumble on my words when I say that. Just getting started, proclaims that at that point in my life, to start actually officially releasing music on the market, was such a special and exciting occasion for me. Was this the start of something good? Or was it just a hobby? Time to tell. The album cover being bright and colourful with its rainbow look. I love creating cover art for my music. It's just as important as the music itself as it's all art. Even though a few people 
Once again, change the cover up to just get it started because it didn't have enough substance. Well, you know what? I went with my gut because I wanted something very simple. Also with this album, I decided to dive into my roots from where my religious background came into play. Songs like Eternal Desire, Mysterious, Need You So, Upside Down, Right Side Up, and Tell the World of Your Love. Those songs really resonated from that personal part of my life. I've always been a spiritual kind of person, a believer in a higher power, very intuitive and curious of what's really going on in the world. I'm a bit empathetic too. Or is that empathy? I feel other people's energies. I feel empathy for those people. And people tend to take advantage of that. A lot of my life, I've been walked all over like a doormat. But that's my own fault, because I really stand up for myself. Which all of this has taken a big toll on me, and sometimes it still does. But that's just a part of my personality, being spiritual. Overall, just getting started, first of the Andy Joel series. The Acknowledgement album, full of great smaller stories to give you an idea of what kind of person that I am. I'm not so bad, am I? But neither here or there, that's up to you to decide. I had a great childhood. I have stumbled along the way. But I've always gotten myself back up off the ground. And my music has always helped me get back up. I really do encourage you all to go and give this album a listen from start to finish. It relates to everyone in a different way, but it definitely relates to me. Because this was the start of my journey, which is still continuing, and I could be more proud. Thanks again everyone for your support in what I love doing. Because really, it's how I live. I love you all.